Well, the district attorney is also providing some new information to us today about an officer involved shooting in North Buffalo. To any sides, Liz Lewin was there. And Liz, let me ask you, what is the update on the case tonight? Hey there, Scott. Well, 30 year old Dominique Thomas is now charged with two counts of menacing a police officer, but those two officers who fired their weapons will not be charged. These updates come after the district attorney's investigation found their actions were justified. Dominique Thomas remains in the hospital, recovering from six gunshot wounds more than a week after being shot several times by two Buffalo police officers. He's accused of intentionally putting the officers in harm's way when he pulled out a knife, despite orders to drop his weapon during an encounter. It is uh, quite frankly crystal clear that both officers had justification for uh, discharging their weapons. Um, due to the fact that um, that Mr. Thomas uh, lunged at them uh, with a knife. This is body cam footage taken from the camera of Officer Ramos, one of the two officers who fired his weapon. It begins with at least three officers, including Ramos, in the stairwell of an apartment building on Hurdle Avenue. There's a verbal exchange between the officers and Thomas, who was told multiple times to drop a large knife. The officers then backed out of the building and moved into the street in an attempt to de-escalate the situation. Thomas continued to approach them, weapon in hand. According to the DA, Thomas lunged at the officers, then ran towards them. That's when two officers shot him several times. Uh, spoke to the Buffalo Police Department last week uh, and encouraged them to release the body cam video as soon as possible. Um, to show the public, to ha have full transparency here as to what exactly happened. Uh, I think that the body cam video um, shows exactly um, you know, what took place. While it's possible Thomas could be suffering from mental health issues, Flynn says this was not a mental health call and that moving forward, a forensic examination will be done. Why weren't social workers sent out there or behavioral specialists, et cetera, et cetera? The, um, the short, easy answer is because it was not a mental health call. It was a 911 call where uh, the person on the other end of the phone said that someone is trying to kill me. Thomas was also arraigned on a separate count of menacing for an incident that happened back in August of 2020 for allegedly threatening to kill a doctor after being treated at ECMC. The DA says a warrant was issued for his arrest after he failed to appear in court several times. And Scott Thomas is due back in court early next month once his forensic exam is completed. If convicted, he faces a maximum of seven years behind bars. In the newsroom, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.